Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 29th through to April the 4th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Hermit in the Upright. And next we have the King of Cups in the Upright. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune, Upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, Justice in the Upright. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense week. But the good news is, Taurus, your overall energy is that of the Ten of Wands. You will be releasing or being released from some obligations or burdens that have felt very, very uh, uh, difficult to carry. Others of you, this is about several worries you've had, and this is now being able to release these worries. Like I said, some of you could be getting released from obligations. Perhaps you were sort of picking up the slack for others, have been family members, neighbors, friends, co-workers, and uh, perhaps now they're, you know, taking care of their own things and you don't need to do it for them anymore. So you're being relieved of the burdens. Others of you, you had several things going on, maybe several different aspects of your life were very worrisome, but now you get to drop those worries because something is changing. Beginning of the week, we do have the Virgo energy here, uh, the hermit in the upright position. Well, this, is a card that represents a need to go within. Now, there could be several reasons why we would go within. Sometimes it's because we need to do some research, something is changing, something is happening, and we need to um, look into it. Maybe we've been offered, you know, a business partnership, or maybe we've been uh, looking into a certain study, maybe want to take a course in something. This comes up a lot of times for students who are actually um, studying. Could be for some of you, maybe that's the case. You come into the week kind of quiet. Maybe you're sort of stepping back. Some of you could just be going within, uh, just trying to figure some things out. Maybe life has been a little bit complicated for you lately and you need to just sort of take a step back, go within, maybe do some meditation or just try to figure out what is what is actually happening here and how you can, you know, straighten things out. Now the next card we have is the knight, or not the knight, the king of cups in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now for some of you, this could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a boss, could be your spouse, whomever uh, this character is if it's someone external to you. This is someone who could be having a calming effect on you. This could be perhaps even a, a doctor, a physician, or a counselor, somebody like that. Maybe somebody you're talking to. But this person has sort of run the gauntlet on emotions, knows how to steady the waters, is pretty calm in terms of, of emotions, and could be sort of aiding you or helping you in some way. Um, this could just be you as well. Taurus may be embodying the energies of the King of Cups where you're feeling very emotionally mature and emotionally grounded right now. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful Wheel of Fortune here in the upright position. This is really good news. This could be uh, indicating that there's a lucky break that could come through, maybe a breakthrough for some of you. This could be where we're no longer, you know, pushing against. We're no longer in resistance about anything. We're just allowing everything to happen and to unfold naturally. So beautiful energies is also can definitely represent a lucky break where perhaps if you're looking for a job, they may just be advertising your, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> they could just be advertising your, uh, you know, your dream job on the internet. And maybe you happen to see it and you just apply for it. It's like a stroke of luck for some of you. It could be that you go and purchase a lottery ticket and win a few dollars for others of you. It could be, you know, you find the, the perfect home if you're looking for a home. Whatever the situation is, it's like a stroke of luck could be aiding you and helping you in some way because you're moving with the energies of the universe. 
Now, the last card you have is Major Arcana Justice, the um, Libra energy in the upright position. This is all about fairness, equality, balance uh, coming into play here. So for some of you, perhaps, you know, you were carrying too much of a burden and it was actually unfair. So the burden's been lifted and perhaps justice is now being done in a situation. And that's how come the burdens are being lifted. For some of you, this is literally about a, a legal situation, about a court situation, and justice being brought in your favor. When you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Justice card together, it could be a lucky break in a case, if especially if it's been ongoing uh, legal matter. So this could be a nice lucky break. Could Things could open up for you. Same thing for if this is representing an arbitrator or someone like that. It could be representative of a lawyer or a judge or someone speaking on your behalf and bringing everything back into balance. For others of you, this could be a situation that perhaps lost its balance and caused too much of a burden on you has now been brought back into just back into balance. Sorry. But yes, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye bye for now.